Hello, hello everybody. This is Mommy with Flowers by the Bunch. So today I wanted to talk about hydrangeas. Um, and we are going to make a beautiful arrangement of all hydrangeas with a touch of eucalyptus. We're starting out with a container that I have filled with fresh water. And instead of using fresh floral foam, I thought we would use some chicken wire. So, most of the time, I'm certain that there are some people who just don't happen to have fresh floral foam at home. And so I wanted to show you how you can use chicken wire to make an armature in order to hold these hydrangeas in a large container. So these are just a couple of small pieces of chicken wire that I had in the closet back there. I'm just gonna kind of take them and just ball them up and drop them right down into my container. I'm gonna take the second one doing exactly the same thing just kind of ball that up and I'm just pushing it right down into my container now to hold it into place I'm gonna kind of tilt it and show you whoops spilling a little water um, I've just taken it and balled it up it's not really um, it's not really secure so I am going to take some tape and this is just a clear floral tape it's what I happen to have in my drawer you can absolutely use a waterproof tape but I am just taping across the top of this container to make sure that my chicken wire stays in place. So I just taped that across there and then we'll tape it across the opposite side. Now, what I wanted to do is, of course, this isn't a pretty container, but I really liked the look of this galvanized tin bucket. Now, most of the time, if you have an old tin bucket, it doesn't really hold water. And so, I thought I would use a watertight container and just set it right down in to my bucket. And so, you can't see my container, but um, it does hold plenty of water and it will make a beautiful arrangement in my galvanized tin bucket. I'm going to start out with some hydrangeas. So I have two different varieties of hydrangeas. I have large white hydrangeas and I have what we call mini green hydrangeas. Now the difference in the mini green and the large white is the mini green were cut as very young hydrangeas. They're the, they're the buds of the hydrangeas, okay? And so, they're, as they mature, they would become white hydrangeas, the green ones would. Um, but I really enjoy working with the minis, so we order the minis a good bit, um, but we order white mostly. And let me tell you the reasoning behind us ordering white hydrangeas. White hydrangeas, they tint very easily. So, if I order a case of white hydrangeas, I can make these hydrangeas any color that I need them to be by using something called Just for Flowers Flower Paint. Now, Just for Flowers is actually made, it's by Design Master, and it's actually made specifically to paint flowers. Now, I would not suggest going to your local hardware store and picking up um, spray paint off the shelf. It is not good for the flowers. You really need to use paint that's made specifically for flowers. So, here at our shop, we carry a good many colors, and that way, Say we have a baby girl arrangement and we need a pink hydrangea. We will go and pull a white hydrangea that really works for every occasion, white does. We'll grab that white hydrangea and we'll take our Just for Flowers paint and we will tint that white hydrangea to make it a pale pink hydrangea for a baby girl arrangement. Now, in doing this, I have saved tons of money because I am able to make any of these white hydrangeas the color that I need them to be. Um, now, I would suggest going outside and painting your hydrangeas outside. It's not a great idea to paint them indoors. You really need to have um, a well-ventilated space, but it's very easy to paint. And it doesn't take tons of paint to make them the soft pink that you need them to be, okay? 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my larger hydrangeas. So my idea is to do pinks and whites and these pretty mini green hydrangeas in this one arrangement. Again, I have taken my chicken wire and I've kind of made an armature and tucked it into my container that's just sitting right down in to my galvanized um, tub. I'm going to take and remove the foliage <clears throat> from my hydrangeas. Take my floral knife, cut that at an angle, and just tuck that right down in to my chicken wire armature. Now you can see how that armature is just holding those hydrangeas upright. And I am just pushing those stems right down into that chicken wire so that it just holds those hydrangeas in place. Again, go ahead and remove that foliage and let me tell you why you want to remove the foliage. We are removing the foliage from the hydrangeas because when we do that, it causes the water to come straight up the stem directly to the head of the flower. Instead of having to give our foliage a drink of water, it goes directly to the flower. So you see how it has lots of foliage on the stem? As the water comes up the stem, of course it stops to feed, to water all of the foliage. When you remove that foliage, you remove that extra step for the water to go. Um, so it goes directly to the head, to the bloom of the flower. All right, so there are our large blooms of hydrangeas in our container. Next, what I'm going to do is take my mini green hydrangeas. Again, I'm removing most of the foliage. I'm taking my floral knife and I'm cutting that stem at an angle and I am just tucking it right down into the armature that we've made with our chicken wire. <clears throat> Now one thing you have to be careful about with hydrangeas is hydrangeas are very water loving. They really need lots and lots of water. So quite honestly, they are far happier in direct water than they are in floral foam because direct water, they're going to get that water source um, much easier than they will in the floral foam. And so when working with hydrangeas, this is probably your very best idea is to take um, take them and put them directly in water in an armature versus fresh floral foam. Now I will tell you I use them in floral foam often and I really don't have any problem with that but if you can do it this way it's a great way to do it. So you can see I am just making um, an arrangement of just all the same types of flowers. So we have hydrangeas in whites and greens and tinted pink. And so I'm just making a mounded arrangement with those hydrangeas. Now you can absolutely do this without, with hydrangeas that are in your yard. If you have a beautiful hydrangea bush, go out and harvest some of, the, some of your hydrangeas off your bush and go ahead and make you a beautiful arrangement like this. You can absolutely um, cut greenery out of your yard and, and fill up your arrangement. So look how pretty those blooms are in that bucket. So it's just very lush and very pretty. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of eucalyptus. Now, again, you can use foliage out of your yard, so don't feel like you have to go out and purchase greenery. We just have this eucalyptus here in the shop, so I thought we would use it in this arrangement. Now, when harvesting flowers, um, especially hydrangeas, you're going to want to harvest your flowers early in the morning. 
they have had plenty to drink overnight and they've replenished overnight and in the morning they are the strongest healthiest that they are all day long so you want to harvest in the morning when you cut your hydrangeas be sure to cut them and drop them directly in fresh water so that they be they can begin to drink that fresh water and they'll stay hydrated now if your hydrangea goes down a very simple trick that you can do is take that stem cut it in an angle fill your sink with cool water fill it up as as high as you can fill it with cool water take that stem cut it in an angle and submerge the entire flower the bloom and all in that water and leave it leave it there for as long as it takes for it to rehydrate now a hydrated bloom is pretty firm you can see that all of these blooms are pretty firm if it is limp it means that it's very thirsty so when you go to rehydrate it you'll see that it gets pretty firm um, and once it has firmed back up give it a good cut and put it back in your flower arrangement and it'll be good to go for quite a while I'm going to take some of this eucalyptus so this is called gun iuke and I am going to take it and cut it into some smaller pieces and we're just going to tuck it into our pretty arrangement. Again, you can certainly take foliage out of your yard and tuck it into your arrangement just the same way as I'm doing here. Um, when cutting foliage, you're going to want to see, sometimes foliage doesn't always last um, in a flower arrangement. So a trick um, to use is when you go to cut that foliage, put it directly in fresh water and just set it on your table and watch it. Um, sometimes it won't hold up, but other times it will. If it holds up well, use it. Go out and harvest that greenery. You're going to do the exact same thing as your flowers. You're going to harvest that in the morning um, just because it's so much happier and healthier in the morning but it's way more fun to go out and harvest your own greenery versus paying for it in my personal opinion and it's the same with flowers if you have pretty blooms in your yard use those blooms to make beautiful arrangements they're so much fun to go and harvest your own flowers and and enjoy those flowers that you have so you can see what a statement this arrangement makes but very simply made with the same types of flowers. Of course, you do not have to make an arrangement that's this large. I just thought I would show you how simple it was to make something in a larger container, but using more of an armature versus fresh floral foam. Guys, I hope these tips help. Um, if you have any questions about how we do things here at our shop, please don't hesitate to ask that in the comments. If you are not, um, um, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please be sure to do that. We would love to have you here. And if you'll hit that um, little bell down below, you will get um, notifications about when we have new videos up. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and we will see you all real soon. Thanks so much.